Welcome. Today we're going to discuss the technique flashing wings, its execution, some of the things that can go wrong during its execution, and how to compensate or fix those issues. So we'll start out with the ideal face. This is a right step through punch from the front directly to your face. So the first thing that can go wrong here is you start arguing about whether you should step forward or back. The answer is yes. Depending on what I feel this attacker is, if he's really committed to the attack, I might want to step back. If he's not as committed to the attack, I might want to step forward. Irrelevant in which way you step, the idea is that you're doing a thrusting inward block because we're trying to obey the rule in order to be to meet it so that you can be at or above the elbow. Now, keep in mind, if I misjudge this and he throws a weak punch and I step back, that's okay because we can do foot maneuvers to adjust for the delivery of the strike to be able to continue the same technique, or you would go to a long version of the technique, which would easily be flashing mace, right? So instead of flashing wings, you're going to flashing mace, or attacking maze, whichever maze you decide to do. But we're gonna assume right now he committed with the punch and we're gonna establish our base, get our block, get our elbow in line of sight for what we wanna do. So from here, the next thing that can go wrong is we start striking with no base. I wanna do my step drag to hit him and I go bam, and I'm in the air as I'm delivering my elbow. Again, the idea here is I wanna hit, establish my base and hit with this elbow. This is a major, okay? So notice what I did while I was talking. I dropped my left hand. Keep in mind, he still has an arm there, so do not lose this check while you're delivering your elbow. So the next thing that can go wrong here, we're gonna shift so you can see, is I deliver the elbow as a glance. So I hit and try to set up my elbow so that I can deliver the strike, and I glance, I didn't really hit him, so remember this is a major, and then I pull, keeping my check. Also, if you notice, because we are getting close and moving behind him and forward, I have to be worried about what we call straddling the paddle. So we typically have a rule that says don't go past his heel. So if I step, I'm gonna be straddling. So anytime that we do that, we wanna make sure that our back knee is checking off that leg. You could either strike with it or just keep it in place so that you're checking. Either one is fine. Obviously striking would hurt more. So once I get this hit, the next thing we're gonna shift diagonally so you can see what's happening to his back. Again, I get to the back. Now I'm gonna be working on the back. So I'm gonna use my elbow up at the 45 as I shift to my horse, this is gonna hit right behind the scapicle to make him bend back so that his head is exposed. So I'm gonna hit and take that line. So if you notice, this is like a sophisticated basic. I wanna go one, two, all in one line in the trajectory. But again, I don't want the elbow to be weak or glance. This is a major. I wanna hit with this and then continue that line. Notice my left hand is now up and ready to strike. This is gonna start getting him to bend. So now the point is to get back to the front of the technique. So my right hand is gonna contour his arm so I can check it as my left hand delivers a downward diagonal hand sword. And again, just like five swords, you can do the wrap if you wanted to get more margin for error when you're hitting or more surface contact. Again, if you notice, my left knee is now doing the check on the leg before we reverse it. So we're gonna to switch to this line so you can see the final maneuver. So from this position, we're working on the downward diagonal, so now I'm gonna reverse the line and come up with the right hand. So you wanna get that opposing forces, right? It's like I'm pushing him down and hitting him up. So once I hit, I do reverse, and again, you can use your rotation and your step drags if you need to, to come up. A thing that can go wrong here is uh, he starts tucking his chin, that's fine, so instead of doing the hand sword, I'm gonna do a heel pump and go completely up. Think of this like an uppercut, we just happen to be doing it with our hand open to try to get to the throat, but it just as easily could be the chin. Remember, we're doing this open-ended triangle, so it doesn't really matter. Once I know where his body is, I'm contouring the arm, and I'm hitting up to the throat. So let's do it one more time, a quick walkthrough. Establish your base. It doesn't matter whether you step forward or back. At or above the elbow. Don't straddle the paddle. Do not hit in the air. Establish your base as you hit. Contact unit with your elbows. Make sure it's a major. Cock the hand so it's ready to go. Back, neck, back to the neck again. Check the arm and turn as you hit with the hand sword. We'll switch sides real quick so you can see it at a different angle without the explanation. Up. We hope this video helps you. Thank you very much.